week, uh, but had an early day and found out that uh, a lot of different tuning options, man, uh, make you go a lot faster. Uh, of course, always use your credits, you know, upgrade your car, but don't over-upgrade it. But here's a, here's what I found out, that if you use a manual transmission, you're able to, uh, I'll show you guys in this race, and, like, look at the surface of the track before you race it, and, like, the length. If it looks like it has a lot of long straightaways, go to your tune, and it's tarmac. You know, it's 100% tarmac, so go to your tune. You want a stiff suspension, all the way as stiff as it'd go, um, on tarmac. That's asphalt. Now, if it was all dirt, you'd want to go soft. Uh, but all asphalt, all the way up to stiff. Like I said, it had some long stretches on it. So you want your gear ratio to not be in the middle. Go up one click. Now, if it's a, a, a track that has a lot of turns in it, really, really short track, or even an eight, uh, figure eight, short you know gear ratio but go to about right there um differential i always leave in the middle and i like my rear brakes to be down one i'm on a wheel so when i press the brakes if i press in the front it makes my uh the rear of the car want to kick out but when i got my brakes set to the rear it kind of helps make the car turn and uh like i said been winning a lot of races but then i found out let me try a manual transmission because I noticed my transmission just kind of sitting there redlining a lot. And I'll s see if we can show y'all guys here. Shifted about 5,000 to 6,000. But then when you downshift, going into a corner, look, wait, my steering is not on 1080. I'm gonna have to restart this. Sorry, guys. Must always make sure it automatically puts you in 1080. So if you're on a T150, hit, go up one and put it on 180, the lowest at your steering radius. I go. Uh, I hate 1080. I like the in-car view of my other car. This car I don't, because it's not a stripe on the, the wheel, but, okay. I'm pushing them out of the way because I'm in third gear right there, when if I would have been automatic, it probably would have been slugging in fourth, I see there's a corner coming, so I downshift, use him, downshift again, and look at the how much of a momentum you get, automatic, I'd be probably still in 10th right now, but I'm... See the difference right there, man? Automatic, he would have rear-ended it, took us out. But Way down the second. Now look at the lead we got on them. Right. Best lap ever. Third gear. Fourth gear. Down the third. Oh, messed up right there. Get back on the track. Mm. The automatic transmission slows you down so much compared to the manual. And I'm on a wheel, so I got paddle shifters, so it makes it a little easier for me. I'm used to playing Formula One, a lot of road courses. Uh, I can get on the track here. 
I'm over driving a car actually. See how that downshifting, it just gives you that big boost. We might even catch them guys. We gotta... It gives you like a big boost. You just gotta be careful when you downshift and get back in the throttle because it's gonna set you back in your seat pretty much. Right there we got a top five. I can take y'all and run the same track over on a, on a, a automatic transmission and we won't even come close, guys. That's the difference. We were through three seconds off the fastest lap. Not one of my best tracks, but huge difference. I like in-car camera too, actually. I, I really do. It's uh, the only thing I don't like it with this car because there's not a stripe on the wheel. You can't can't see how much I'm actually working the wheel. When we do a race in my other car, the rocket that has a stripe on the wheel, you will see that you know, I'm literally working the wheel a lot. Alright, this track. Oh boy, let's see. Looks like maybe the gear ratio. Um, there's going to be some short turns in here, I see. Maybe we want to take it. But there's still some long straights, too. Like I said, on tarmac, always use a stiff, stiff suspension. Uh, on dirt, use a soft suspension. And use your tra manual transmission. It is so key. I've gained so much time. And another friendly tip, don't go out and buy the fastest car that there is. That's what I do, and it's almost undrivable on the wheel. Uh, Upgrade a car that handles real good. I found that out with this rammer. This rammer is I'm pretty competitive in it It's not as fast as my best car, but it's really tough so people can wreck me and it don't kill me and All right We're going to We're gonna try an open. Yeah, we're gonna try that right there. Tuning is everything. It's key. No, I think I was a little bit off on that last circuit on the tune because top fives are more usually a top three guy every race. So. They get real aggressive and want to wreck you when you're they know you're fast. I try not to wreck people. I'm honestly try to be a clean driver. And see how downshifted made our car just get that big surge of speed?
to the stage and work to the scene. I wish there was a swipe on the steering wheel like there is in my other car. Uh, We're gonna restart this one. We can win this race. It's, we're gonna go from in car view the whole race. See that jump you get too? It's running a manual transmission. Oh, I'm just running right through them right now. Got straight to the front. Look at that, we got a pretty good sizable lead right there. You're going way too fast. Just killed our car. Usually when you're attacking out in fifth gear, that means there's a corner coming. <laughs> We had like a five second lead too. That's how these wreck fast races go. You, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. I just know we got a top three car. Getting some bad luck over driving in corners. Over a hundred and twenty mile an hour, close to.
think we're using too long of a gear. I think we should change the tune in it. Let's try a different tune, guys. Let's let's go to um. Let's go to the middle on the back up to there. So I'm trying to hit you. We got a heck of a car. Gotta catch a little bit of luck and avoid the wrecks. Easy course to, to overdrive. Just, I did just start looking over at my track map now. We see we got a huge lead, so we can see these big corners coming up. Check something. My car don't seem to be steering the way I want it. Okay, we got it on the right setting. Okay. Something I just started doing actually on this track was looking at the track map. That helps huge knowing when your corner's coming. Like, uh, overrunning your corner here, you that's how you kill your car. That was perfect corner. Then when you drop it down to the third on the exit, that can't even keep it up with us. Another big corner coming. Best lap, see? Hopefully. Yeah, that was our best lap ever right there, so... Look at the trap mat, we got a big left, so downshift. Upshift. Upshift, the manual transmission gains you at least three or four seconds a lap in my opinion. Downshift, downshift. Down shift, down shift. They can't even get to your corner, your to wreck you whenever you're using a manual if you do it correctly. Look at that. Dropped it in the first. I thought I was gonna beat the wall down myself. Down shift, down. There you go. And now look at the lead we got. We're rolling now. It's all in the transmission. Like I said, when you're on automatic, it likes to sit there and just redline a lot. And I, I just shifted down the first right there and sailed around that corner. Got us a win. See? Set all the time, fastest lap. We knocked a good uh, two seconds off the lap right there. Uh, we had the fastest lap of a 129. The second fastest lap was a 138. Yeah, 138 was the second fastest. So we're running 11 seconds faster. So that was a really, really, really... Let's see if that even registers on the leaderboards. That should register on the leaderboards, so 129. Actually, for B... Let's see, actually, 120 is top 100, I think. That don't... Okay, 120 is... Let's see, friends. Any of my friends outrun that. Monster Racing with 121, so 129, we're somewhere ranked around 800 with that. But.
They keep giving me all these free parts now that I've already purchased. <laughs> So another tarmac track, so y'all know what to do, use a stiff, um, instead of soft, use stiff. Um, this track looks like there's a lot of, not many turns, it's a lot of big straightaways, so we obviously want to use a long gear. Uh, I think I'm going to use the same setup that was already in it, because I just, that last track, like I said, rolling. It takes a minute to load in between tracks sometimes, but... <laughs> Alright, let's see... Let's go to our tune... Alright, like I told y'all before, on s if it's dirt, you want a soft suspension. This is all asphalt, so we want a stiff suspension. I think I'm going to go right there. I don't want it all the way stiff this time. I want to see something. I'm going to go to about right there. Our gear ratio, I think we can go long on this one because there wasn't a lot of uh, corners on this one. A lot of straightaways. And then manual transmission. If we can win this one. They invert the field, so like if I win, I won the last race, so they start me at the rear of this race. Starting at the rear is terrible. All right. Being on a manual, you're so much faster than them, so you're automatically driving through them. If I didn't drop it in front of right there, I'd have tore that wall down. Him back up. Ooh, we should have used the shorter gear, really. I thought there was going to be a lot of long straights, but it's not a lot of long straights, it's a bunch of short straights. I got six. Not bad for starting in the rear, but I guarantee if we change the tune, we win all day. We're in the 38. Yeah, see, not the fastest lap. But like I said, man, this game is, I don't know, the physics on it almost better than NASCAR, in my opinion. On the wheel, I can drive it better. Maybe because I have a little background in dirt experience i don't know uh, nothing major just like a street stock pure stock type deal but okay so we finished first position on that we 
demolition series. I was four races, and out of the averages, we finished first because we won three out of the two. And that's going to put us another step closer to A class. Let's see. These super vans, I hate. What should we do? Demolition racing. The demolition challenge, the limousine demolition. I don't like the demolitions, but they're they're kind of cool too. But I like the race events better. We don't own a compact. Uh, let's tr do this here. This looks pretty fun. Oops. See, every car handles differently. I saved up all my money to get the Speed Demon, which is the fastest car, but it handled like garbage. It, it just, it was really fast. You really got on the gas. It wanted to come around on you. But now, I guarantee you, now that I put it on manual transmission, I could probably drive that car, because I just have to upshift uh, before it starts rev limiting, so that it don't get all crazy on me. Just learn, there's, there's a lot of secrets and tricks in this game that'll help get you faster. Like, tuning is, is a big thing. Remember, dirt, soft, tarmac, you know, stiff. If it's a track with both, in the middle. Alright, going to dirt, so we're going to do that. And it's a short track, so we're going to put our year ratio down. Um, differential there. Let's see how that tune. This is okay. You got to finish in the top. Let's see. I think you got to finish in the top 12 to make it to the next round. So this is qualifying. Top 12 makes it to the semis. Usually these tournaments pay pretty good if you can win one. This way every time so I'm used to less turns to NASCAR. One third. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna go to the left. There we go. We try to. See, I'm downshifting. saying this game you never know you could be a hundred yards from the finish line and wow but we ended up with a fifth not that fast of a lap either they're 37 the fastest guy ran a 32 so we should take our uh, a few things we need got to do there to fix that Like I said, manual transmission just helps you control the car way more, but you're still not going to be able to avoid things like that wreck that just happened. That's just certain stuff. We did make the two semis. All we needed was a top 12. Now we got to finish in the top 12 of this to make it to the finals. But here's something we're going to do. We're going to change the tune. All right, we're going to get it in the middle because it's dirt and asphalt in the corners. So gear ratio. I think we should really get down one but a lot of acceleration but maybe we'll just keep it in the middle oh no we're gonna try that there we go i don't know where to try open i'm gonna try open too sometimes it makes you turn better and before every round like right now i'm just gonna go ahead and check before we start the race that it did not mess with my steering radius okay because if it takes you back to 1080, you're going to be out there and not be able to see her. Alright, here we go. I wanted to go left and that guy forced me to go right. <laughs> second but that manual transmission guys so I, had, I ought to go throw it on automatic just so y'all can see the difference oh no that's the stuff you can't handle we're still in first place though top 12 make it to the finals Oh, I do not like it when that hood flies open. You can't see nothing coming. Oh, boy. Best lap ever. There we go. So this new tune has worked a lot better. Round 37, I believe. Oh, I can't see nothing. I think we're going to win this race. Downshift to second. Just walk it all the way around the corner. No, come on, we're 100 feet from the finish line. Man, 
and we were a hundred feet from the finish line and the hood flew open. Yeah, we not three seconds off. We're still gonna make it to the uh finals. Top twelve made it to the Yeah. We not a lot of time off. Three seconds right there just for making that one tuning difference. Oh, that's a that's a huge, huge all right, this time I don't think I'm gonna run the end car because that hood was killing me when it was, I could not see nothing coming. Uh, so we're gonna run out of the car to do this this time for the very finals. So we made the finals. I think we hit on the right tune too. Let's keep the tune the same. This is the tune. Uh, suspension in the middle, gear ratio short, not all the way down, but one down. Differential and open, so in the middle, one click down, one click down, and one click down. All right, first place is the champion. Um, everything else is one. Got piece. We gotta make win this one. We got the car to do it. It's gotta have the lock. So good in, in that corner. So fifth through here, on it, best lap ever, guys. And downshift all the way to first if you got to. The one on the left on this side of the tarmac corner, I like it better. Downshift the second. We're gone, boys. No, come on, get out of here. We were in first, too. Seems like that happens to the first place guy, and that was my best lap, and I was an accident. I don't know how. Down to second. Six laps instead of three in the finals. We got three more laps to survive. This is where I usually get knocked silly. Yep. We're not shifting fast enough either. Second. We gotta make sure we shift in time because we're on a real short gear ratio. We'll lose all our speed. That went to fifth that time. Second in the corners are perfect to put in. And then three down. Oh, we get the yellow boost. We're still first. Best lap, alright. You can even do that. I just dropped all the way to neutral right there, guys. Yeah, we got it rolling now. Now it's went wham, wham, third. And I'm not even looking at the tack. I'm looking at by noise. I'm going by ear on the gears. Oh my god, I thought that was our race. We're leading on the last lap. We're gonna win this championship. Second, third, but when it bites, downshift again and it'll give you a little boost. Got him. Nice. And we knocked another three. Best lap was a 31.5, guys. We started out at a 37. That's a six second improvement just by changing tunes.
so that's what I'm saying. Tuning is essential. Literally essential. So we just got a rotor. Some wheels, actually. I don't know if wheels really even help you on here. I would have to check that out. It didn't, like, it don't show anything in acceleration and top speed, but they might make you handle better. I don't know. I've never actually bought wheels for my car. Well, we got the full 200 out of that one. Let's see. I've tried this one, and you can't even drive this little one front wheel van. It's undrivable. Um wasn't really good at this one it was a harvester um you're in a harvester doing a demolition derby it was not that great but if y'all want to try a demolition derby i can show you how it is like let's see death match super van smash up challenge i don't want a super van Speedway Busters. That sounds more like us. We can't use our rammer. Okay, we have to go back to the rocket or the gremlin. We'll probably use... I like the old... Oh, oh, here we go. Some Speedway racing. I like this now. Here we go. We're fixing to be running a complete oval. I do wish that we were in our rammer, but the rocket, uh, I can roll pretty good in the rocket because it's got the line on the steering wheel. So our last track, we made up a six second difference in tuning. Maybe this one, it might take us a tenth or two to get the tuning right, but it's key, man. Let's see, Big Valley looks to be about a half mile. So, and it's all tarmac, so we want to take to a stiff suspension. Gear ratio. I think we should keep it in the middle here. And the differential. That looks pretty good, too. We'll try this at first. See how that works. All right, top 12, make it to the semis. Yeah, we got him, guys. We 
We're going to the semis. It's all about that tune, guys. Look at 17.5. That's, that's got to be, yes, best lap, of course. I was going to say, it's got to be. This track, I you put it in third, leave it there, and you're good the whole time. I'd actually like to uh, set up some lead racing at this track. This would be a fun track to do some lead racing at. Um, I know the Pottles does uh, a wreck fest league. I have to get a hold of her. All right, now we're in the semis. Top 12s make it to the finals. T-150 wheel, which I think that kind of gives me a little bit of advantage, maybe. Yeah, look at that restart we got. And we are gone, guys. If that NASCAR experience plays out. that I get on NASCAR half the time. But when I get up here to the lap traffic, they'll actually give me respect, more respect than I get in some of the leagues I race. Huge lead, so we got our tune just right. the semi so we round one we're on, uh one round one and round two i think this one we should get to the finals pretty easy another 17.5 can't quite get past that number very fun track though very fun track i can i could race that all day here we go. Here's the final, guys. 24 guys. Hopefully we don't start in the back. We probably will. Nope, up front. Get the third as quickly as you can, and you're, you're gone. We already got a sizable lead on them. And then just drive that bad boy. Left, right, left, right. a 12 blocker here for the final. Ooh, looking back. Hit the wall. We're going to have to be careful. We're going to run in the lap traffic a lot. And as y'all can see, you got to steer back to the right sometimes to keep it straight in a corner. And that's the way you drive a real race car in real life too. Try to lap the whole field, that would be cool. Took the guy out that was racing me on. Still five 
time to go. But right now, we just got to watch out for a big crash. Two mile an hour in the corners, just we're maintaining about 60 through the corners. Got him. 17.6, not even our fastest lap, but as y'all can see, man, um, the tuning off of all that is, makes a huge deal on the, uh, how these cars drive, handle. I just wanted to give you guys, you know, show you guys, kind of help you out, really. I don't mind helping people get faster, so I like doing that a lot. Appreciate you guys tuning in to Dirty South Racing. Let's see. We'll, I'll probably end the video right there while we're on a really good winning streak. Don't want the video to be too long. But uh, share it with your friends at Rickfest. I think it will make a difference. It will help you get faster. Um, like I said, the main key for me is manual transmission. It is huge. It's very huge. But uh, for Rupert here, man, y'all have a good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. Tell me what y'all want to see next. NASCAR, Formula One, um, I racing soon.